Separation. I'm hoping the dim lighting here a little after midnight will help lend some creepy vibes to this review. Of course, the movie wasn't that creepy and didn't even particularly expect it to be, given it had an 8% approval rating on the tomato meter. As far as why I watched it, well, reason one is that I was close to my favorite movie theater, and it's a, which is an AMC, and I wanted to use my AMC A-list to watch something for free. The reason two is that I've lately made it a goal to watch, lately as, an, as of this past weekend, made a goal to start watching every single horror movie in theaters. The reason being, I'm such a huge horror fanatic and I have the Shudder membership that I'm not even using. So from now on, every time there's a new horror movie in the theaters, I watch it. And then as far as older accompanying title, find something appropriate on Shudder to pair it with. So we start off with Betrayal. And I didn't think it was fantastic, but did think it deserved better than 8%. I thought it would at least get in the mid-20s, which I realize is still not a ringing endorsement, but I would give the movie a mild recommendation. It tries to be both a horror movie and a domestic drama, and it succeeds at both mildly. A couple with a little girl is going through a bitter separation when tragedy strikes and then the attempts to move forward are complicated by the strange behavior the girl's exhibiting as well as by the girl's grandfather played by Brian Cox he never trusted his son-in-law Thought it was a well-lit, well-acted movie. Brian Cox can only ever help a film. I really cared what happened to the characters, and while if, uh, at the end, you know, as far as the climax got a bit too over the top, and... I really didn't care for that stinger at the end. I don't think the movie merits a sequel. I think it's worth watching for free, like I got to, because I'm an AMC A-list member. Or others can if, say, come to Shudder eventually and they're subscribers, which all you fellow horror fanatics should be. For further thoughts, you can go to my written blog, autisticartcritic.com. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and hit the subscribe button below. Thank you. Whoa!